This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. We have Mark Stark here, who's the uh, the CEO and president of Berkshire Hathaway here in Nevada. He's also got brokerages in Arizona and California. 27 offices, Mark. Did you know you had that many? I, you know, now I do. Okay. (laughs) 27 offices, 2,800 agents. Right now in our market, we're seeing a lot of people move within the market, going up and down. And so uh, when they, when there's challenges in that, in that these days, because we have a very tight inventory. Um, And I know that you see these challenges from some of the other agents and from ourselves. Um, How do you find that home when you're dealing with this type of a market? Well, you know, specifically, and this is going on really throughout the country. So it's not only our market that's dealing with it. And when you're in a low inventory market, you really have to be more specific uh, than you've ever been in the past. Right. Um, Because a couple things are going to happen. One, um, once you get clarity on what you want to purchase, Mm -hmm. let's say you have a home to sell. You know, the, the seller wants to be comfortable that that, home is out there. And so you guys got to work really closely together, one, so that agent knows, Mm -hmm. okay, what to find. The second piece of that is, is just the traditional ways of finding property, okay, is not the only ways uh, that a quality sales executive is using. You really got to go out there hitting properties that haven't even come to market as of yet. Yeah. And there's many ways to do that. Pricing mm-hmm. becomes extremely important. And again, finding somebody who is solid. So on the other side of that, a buyer having their eyes dotted and T's crossed, it's not okay to say, well, th- this will be fine. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You've got to be able to present that to the seller and the seller feel comfortable enough to go, this is a solid sale. I can move forward. There's such a big difference between pre-qualified and pre-approved. Um, and, you know, that is light years apart. Yes. And so going in with a real strong presentation. And I will tell you, don't think a seller is just going to take the highest offer, right. okay, because they're going to take the offer that best suits their needs. And let me tell you, certainty is valuable. The listing agent of that seller is going to help them figure out, gee, let's take a look at what they got on the market. Okay, look, they've got a home that all the comps are coming in at 300000 and they're listed at seven fifty. This is a problem. Yeah. We don't want to consider this buyer as somebody who's serious, maybe they need that 750 to buy. We don't know, but they're not going to get it based on what we see in terms of comps. Well, and keep in mind, if they have... A, and I exaggerate for the purpose of this. No, sure. <laughs> right. But keep in mind that if they are dealing with their own uh, a brokerage company and have their own agent, yeah. they're going to counsel with that agent and the agent's going to say, you know what, I've done my homework on this and that's not going to sell right. so we are better off taking that you know right. taking looking at another offer even if it's a lower number it's a more certain number and maybe we can try yeah. to get them to come up a little bit but we're going to yeah. we're going to know that at least as a buyer they're much more sound and that like you said Mark I think you make the great point that's more important than just about anything because if you go through the escrow period if it's 30 or 45 days and at the end of that equation at the end of that time frame uh, you're not able to close the deal boy you just wasted 30 to 45 days and Absolutely. That's, that's painful This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Thanks for listening, and remember to tune in every Tuesday at 9 a.m. right here on AM 720 KDWN.